I can't take credit for discovering the story. The story was brought to me by a team of um, really smart researchers. Uh, we were investigating other stories, actually, and came across the story and realized that it hadn't been told as a film before. We were all surprised, um, but also really excited to learn that a lot of the people that were part of the ward from the very beginning were still close to the hospital in San Francisco. Um, and we started to envision a film that allowed viewers to be on the ward in 1983 at the height of the AIDS crisis um, from a first-hand perspective. And when we realized we had this amazing opportunity, this untold story sitting right in front of us, uh, only 15 miles away from where we were sitting, um, it, was, it was an electrifying moment. We were really um, excited about uh, having the opportunity to tell a story that was in danger of being lost to history. I come from a family of physicians. Uh, my grandmother was a nurse. Um, she'd recently passed about four years ago. And I know what that takes. I've seen the toll that it's taken on my parents and my family of um, um, med medical people, I guess, um, how, how involved they get with, with patients and how much it takes a toll on them when you lose one. And at that time, can you imagine what they've gone through? I mean, they hate being called heroes, all of these nurses who we've met, but there is, there's a sense of, I checked myself when I watched that movie. I, this movie, your movie, not this movie, your movie, Dan, um, makes you sit up and say, what have I done for hum humanity? Yeah. Have I done something that's selfless? Because they did something so massive. Have I done anything in my recent extremely privileged life? <laughs> and that's what's beautiful about this movie. It really mobilizes you to feel like, oh my God, I need to do more. So we had an archival team that went literally searching through bins at the bottom of um, in the basements of news stations around the Bay Area and in New York. Uh, and we, we, I'm proud to say, we saved a lot of videotape that was very close to um, disintegrating. Um, and in fact, yeah. some of the tape had to be restored by baking it in an oven and transferring it uh, to, to disintegrate some of the, um, the, the crud that it collected on the magnetic tape. Um, and we had it transferred to a new uh, medium so that we could, we could actually see what was on it. Um, and we discovered that there had been quite a bunch of footage shot on that ward in the, in the 80s that hadn't been touched for over 30 years, mm. uh, including some really beautiful 16 millimeter film. Um, and uh, suddenly we had this window, it was like a time capsule. It was like traveling back to 1983. Um, and we were allowed, you know, we were uh, permitted to, to see and hear uh, what that ward felt like uh, 35 years ago, and that opened the film up in a way that we couldn't have imagined. So and It's almost like the universe sort of conspired for this movie to be made. Yeah. Like you found the footage, you could save it, you told the story, you know, it's just like it was supposed to be made. Yeah, there was a feeling of inevitability, and, yeah. and, and also uh, this time, right now in our, in our culture's history, felt like the right time to tell this story. There was an, a resonance to the events of 35 years ago that made sense now mm -hmm. um, as, as an answer to the question, why this story, why, why today? Um, and so you're right, yeah, there was a sort of a, a coming together of all these um, fortuitous events that led to this film happening, and, and I just feel fortunate that, you know, I got to be a part of it.